Okay, let's let's begin. Let's begin. Okay. So before I forget, I like to uh, I like to discuss some stuff on the see, assignment one point one before I forget today. Um, so I, I know you guys are still busy and doing the assignment one. Um, um, and I, I, I gave it to you assignment 1.1 a few days ago. In fact, I was going to uh, make a due date on April 9th, but I, I gave you too, many, too much time. You still have three weeks to finish. Um, I think you can finish it a couple of days uh, in, in worst cases. Um, so let me, let me just briefly discuss about this assignment 1.1. Um, so it's a small programming assignment that I ask you guys to do it. Um, I know you guys taking courses in other other classes. I know you guys taking courses in programming. See, see, Hana, some other course teach you. See, um, those things uh, will be covered in those classes. Uh, I try to give you another. Hopefully, it's interesting ones. So I'm gonna ask you to build a motion clock. So moving clock uh, graph in, the two, in two different time zones. Examples that I give is have a three different time zones with Beijing, Tokyo, Seoul, but Tokyo, Seoul, same. Yeah, Tokyo, Seoul, same. Beijing, there is a one hour difference, right? Uh, but in terms of assignment, I don't really care. As long as you can show me a two different clocks in different time zones, that's okay. So you will download and use something called processing programming language. Anybody try to look at the processing website yet? Okay. It's, uh, it's supposed to be an easy programming language. Uh, it's meant to be... <laughs> It's, if you read the first uh, their their website, they say it's meant to be uh, for the pe meant to they, they, they it's it's there for the people who doesn't have too much programming experience, but they wanted to build something fancy graph, so 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 it's supposed to be easy to follow. So, for example, following figures have the following figure have three different time zone clocks, and this is what you had to do. Build the two clock side by side. Has to be side by side in the same plane, one next to each other. Okay? Do not build the two separate time clock. And your clock do not need to be accurate. I don't care. Doesn't have to be accurate, but something moving around. So there is a two task that I ask you guys to do. Very easy. Program assignment. Very easy program assignment. Task one: install processing and build your first clock. Build your first clock. So if you walk into that website, are those drawers right now? Probably not. Let me go to that website. So processing.org. Oh, up top. Processing pro. So if you click the website, this is their website. They say something, just download. And then they even have a tutorials. So there is a even video that you can watch it. I'm not gonna explain. Let's take a look at some of the examples. Okay, I just click on any input examples. Ah, you're going to Let me pick out this better one. E, e, which one do you prefer? I don't know. This, maybe?
So as soon as I touch it, it graph makes some figures. So it's, it's supposed to be some artistic programming language that make a beautiful graph and stuff. And so you can play around with different examples. I forgot which one is good ones. Uh, Sine and cosine, maybe. Hmm, like this. So you can draw something like this with this language. So using this type of libraries, I ask you to build a clock. There is a similar example already in this web page, so you can just take a look, try to understand what they try to do, and just change a little bit. That's all there is. Okay. So I recommend to do take a look around this page install it and find out how do you can actually execute a one program and if you're having trouble there is a video hello processing video there's uh, some nice handsome looking guy doing a YouTube uh, class on it it's not that long so you can certainly take a look at it but I don't think you need to look at take a look at the video it's quite easy just to follow copy the source code and do it uh, source code was right here for example, if I click on any examples, uh, as I'm touching it, this is moving. I'm, I'm actually touching the screen. Okay, in order to draw this figure, this is your source code. Program. You can just simply copy it and try it in your computer. Just play with it and give me a clock. Good job, fair. So go to processing, play with the examples on the website. This is example website. Hint, if you take a look at the examples carefully, you can easily build a one clock. It's right there, it's right there. Test two, build a second clock, another clock, but has to be side by side, again, side by side. Not a separate program, has to be in one program. And your second clock must be right next to your first clock like the figure above. Um, if you decide to put this type of letters, Seoul, Tokyo, doesn't really matter. It's up to you. It would be nice that if you can make it pretty. Okay. That's test one, test two. If you complete both, both of it, 50-50%, so 100% for this assignment. And there's a bonus. Another 100%. Another 100% of the bonus. Build a digital clock that moving all the time. And if not everyone has to do this, if you choose to do this bonus assignment, uh, you have to say it in the final report. I'm gonna ask you anyways. Something like the following, <coughs> like these, with those figures that you can control, right? This is one of the nicer examples. I'm, I, don't, I don't mean to that you follow exactly what it looked like but just build a simple ones. Uh, make it pretty, make it beautiful. Uh, do some fancy graphics, doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you, okay? Okay, did you? Good, okay. So what, what to submit? Submit is uh, things that you have to give it to me. First one, print out the source code of your clock source code, program code. Second, print out a screenshot of your clock. Okay. Get the screenshot or capture, whatever. And write one paragraph explaining your programs. And some of you may not be able to finish the entire assignment. I understand, this is the first year course. Um, just write anything about difficulties, experience that you have. You really liked it, you really hate it hated it, or what was the most difficult thing when you try to put the second clock in? Anything that you wanted to say to me. If you did a bonus, if you do a bonus, say that you did a bonus within your paragraph. Uh, has to be more than 200 words, about half a page, about a single paragraph, okay? Those three things, you must give it to me. So your final submission is around maybe less than two pages, I think, less than two pages. Just give it to me in class in April 16th. 
원래 4월 9일까지 하기라고 했었는데 4월 9일 날 그놈의 예비군을 가서 못 거둘 것 같아서 16일로 일단 바꿔놨어요. 아직 시간 많아요. 3주 남았죠? We have plenty of time. So, do your best. If you can do the whole assignment, submit as much as you can. If you just did the task one, submit it, task one. Okay? Don't give it up. And if you try to copy, which this assignment, the source code will be quite look alike. Everyone's source code are quite looking very similar to each other. But if you got caught, then uh, there's no choice. So I'm going to have to give you zero and everything. Okay? For tutorials, then you can check out the video in Hello Processing. You can ask Google. Or you don't need to ask Google. Search for the processing website if you have a questions. It's usually there, examples. And discuss with your friends. Talk to your friends. You can certainly work together. No problem. Do not ask me first. Do not send me an email. I cannot install processing. I cannot help you with that. 그죠? 친구들하고 같이 해요, 숙제. 근데 꼭 그런 분들 많아요. 일단 해보고 뭐 딱. 하나라도 안 되면 일단 막 너한테 메일 보내는 사람 너무 많아. 그러지 마요. 대답 안할 거야. 그러면 이메일은 프로세싱이 다운이 안 돼요라는 이메일에 내가 대답을 해줄 수가 없어요. 그죠? 친구들이랑 같이 해요. 시험 삼아서 서로 카피만 하지 마. 같이 하는 건 괜찮아요. 오케이. Okay. Any questions on this assignment 1.1? 질문. 이쁘게 만들어. 대충 만들지 말고요. 원래는 이 다음 어사이먼트도 하나 있는데 요거 만든 걸 다음 어사이먼트 연결되니까 안 하면 알아서 해. 그죠? 안 하면 알아서 해. 오케이, okay, no questions yet? 질문 없어? 오케이. Okay. 별로, 별로 반응이 안 좋다. 졸려요? 뭘 준들 반응이 좋을까, 그죠? 반응이 안 좋겠죠. 원래는 그걸 하려고 그랬는데 프로세싱으로 우리 수업 시간에 봤던 메카니컬 칼큘레이터 있죠. 그거를 구현해 오라고 그래요. 그랬더니 좀 어려워. 내 내가 해도 좀 어렵더라고. 모르겠어요. 그두 번째 숙제로 나갈지 모르겠는데. <웃음> so. We were discussing very basic stuff last class. We were start discussing binary systems. But it wasn't, it was pretty much straightforward, right? They even start discussing like converting decimal numbers to a binary numbers, very, very simple stuff. And then we look at um, those things, the computer system, digital systems are there. That's why we have to study binary numbers. We, this is kindergarten stuff. And then, uh, just before we end the class, we take a look at a ASCII code and Unicode, right? Uh, those websites have a nice representation of. They seem to have a number according to the symbols they wanted to, characters they wanted to uh, show in the computer systems, right? It's everything is a number. ASCII 8-bit, Unicode 16-bit. Obviously, if you have a 16-bit, there are more numbers to uh, to cover, so what is the maximum number that you can have in 16 bits? 16 진수에서 가장 큰 수가 나올 수 있는 게 뭐야? 2 to the 16, right? I don't know. 이거 얼마야? 한번 6만 5천 원 되나? 6만 5천 원이 안 되나? 더 되겠나? 그죠? Right? So if you have more things to express, then Unicode is the one. Anyway, Unicode, everything is decided. Your language is Chinese, Korean, uh, English, everything is Unicode. ASCII is also a good example of those stuff. Now we know. Mapping characters and text into a binary numbers. 그죠? 알지? I'm gonna skip. <coughs> so, why are we studying binary numbers again? When I make a sound, when I'm speaking to you guys, what am I making? Why am I using microphone?
my voice is actually wave into the air, right? So some, some old textbook, they usually draw this one. You don't have to draw this. It's, so when I'm saying something, usually if I don't use the microphone, people at the back cannot hear me clearly. Why? Why do you have to hear the sound? What does that mean? Okay. In front of class, in front. Back. And I make your sound is like this. So, as it goes to back. Right? Kujo? Also by Pujo. So you might see this in physics and stuff. Analog signals, right? Analog. I'm making sound. But can I measure that exactly? Do you know, can, can you tell me what's the value at this point? <coughs> can you tell me the exact value of that point? You go, what's the value? You can't tell me what the value is. You can't tell me what the value is. You can't tell me what the value is. Right? 큰일 났네. 미적분. 그죠? <웃음> 모든 미적분 얘기만 나오면 전부 다 얼굴이 흑빛이 되고. 응, 그죠? 아직 시작도 안 했는데. Right? X, Y. I'm actually making this. 그죠? This is analog signals. Can you translate that into a digital signal? Digital. What do you, what do you mean? How do you store this in, a, in your computer? Can you record my voice to store in the file? Okay. Can you do it? Yes, you can, right? You MP3 player, voice recorder, or your smartphones can do it. How is that possible? It's an analog signal. Digital systems only recognize zero and one. Have you ever wondered why MP3 files? They say MP3 files have a low quality of uh, uh, music, low music quality. Or there is a file, no loss files, which is much bigger than MP3 files. What does that mean to have those stuff? So we need to find a way to uh, converting analog representation, analog signals, which is there is no concrete boundary into a digital signals. Sound wave, sound wave that have a, uh, we can characterize into three different categories. What? Amplitude, period, and frequency. Amplitude, I don't know what amplitude is. But uh, anybody listen to audio? Anybody buy a very expensive audio? Or, or what Headphone. Anybody buy those stuff? Why, why are those uh, expensive? Or, 아무도 부모님 중에 혹시 오디오에 관심 있는 사람 없어요? 없나? 있어도 모르겠지. 맨날 집에서 일찍 나오니. People say I I buy a new amp. 앰프 샀다는 게 무슨 뜻이야? 앰프 비싸잖아. 공연 같을 때 하면 앰프 스피커 막 있죠. 앰프 앰프 그러잖아. 그게 뭐 뭐의 약자예요? Amplifier. Amplifier. What does amplifier means? Strengths. Strength. So if you amplify the sound, probably like this. Period. Length of the time until wave pattern repeat. Period. Maybe X and Y. Delta T. How many times does it fluctuate? That's period. Aida. Frequency I got it. Sorry. A period is right. Frequency is. Number of periods per time units. How many, uh, in 10 seconds, how many times that I'm repeating this period? Okay. That all requires, that is a property of 
of describing this sound wave. We know the we know the. So if you play MP3 files, if you try to listen to your ears, this is what's going into your ears. How can you make this a digital format? Go Tibaco. Give me your suggestions. How can you translate into zero one zero one ways? Very simple. Let's say my MP3 music files play like this. Well, it's not MP3, but it's okay. So maybe I take a, I, you know, I like to store this graph. So best way that I can do it, maybe I can do this. This is point, this is one, two, three, and then 3.4, you know, then two again, four, Maybe I can store these values. Maybe I can store these. I take the sample values of this. So if I wanted to reconstruct these values later, I'm going to probably just do it. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1, maybe. This is something written in my MP3 file. So I get this file. I'm going to reconstruct. 0, 1. 1, 2. 2, 3. 3, 2. 4, 1. It's not exactly looking like this round shape, but I can make it similar, right? You just did a digitize the music. This is how you save the format of MP3 files. Original analog signal and computer. 우리 저 컴퓨터 파일로 가지고 있으려면 영일 영일로 표현이 돼야 되잖아. So if I want to translate it to zero one zero one, maybe zero 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 one zero one one one. Maybe I need more. Two and three. 0, 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 1. 뭐냐? 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Two digit numbers. If I know the sequence of these numbers, then I can have it. I can play back. I save my music in digital format, play back later. What's a perfect sound? What's a perfect sound if this is a given music? If I construct the exact same looking like the shape, then it will be very close to original sound, right? 그런 얘기 많이 하잖아. 오리지널 사운드랑 가장 비슷한 오리지널 사운드. How you how can you make this close to the original sound? You do it more maybe. You take a more samples. Take a more samples. Then it will be looked less straight line looking, right? Okay. What if you if you try to do that over again and again? Smaller, 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 smaller. Then theoretically that you can get the original sound back into this. You go look at the boil. 면접 구하고 갑 구하고 미적미죠. So this is why they teach you how to do this uh, calculus. One simple example of how to store the music files like things into MP3 files. This is what your MP3 file is doing. Get the sample. But in digital way, we can only store in zero one ways. It's the way. We can make it larger by taking more sample points. That's why some MP3 files are much larger than the normal files. 그죠? 어떤 MP3 파일은 일반 MP3 파일보다 훨씬 크죠? 
뭐 이런 것도 있지 않아요 요즘에? 어. 한국말로 나뭘 뭐, 뜻하는지 모르겠는데 한국말로 무손실 음악 이렇게 얘기하는데 모르겠어요 진짜 무손실인지는 <웃음> 그거까지는 잘 모르겠는데 Anyway, there is a limitation of the human ears that can, that can listen. So, makes sense, right? Now you can store files into your computer, music files. So translating analog signal to digital signals. That's what it means. That's why computers can store music, movie files this way. Makes sense, 그죠? Now we know the difference between analog and digital. 이거 알고 있었다. 알고 있었는데 괜히 내가 길게 설명한다. 손 들어봐요. 미안해. 이게 또 다른 얘기로 들어가면 막 수학하다 보면 미적분 배울 때막 그런 얘기 나오죠. Continuous, discrete 이런 얘기 나오지. Continuous. Continuous 한국어는 뭐니? 난 정석을 안 해봐서 모르겠다. Continuous 뭐야? Discrete, continuous. 아무도 몰라? 나도 몰라. 그럼 왜 컨티뉴스 일반적으로 이렇게 곡선? 근데 사실 곡선을 완벽하게 표현할 수가 없으니까 미적분으로만 어떻게 구하는 거 아니야? 그지? 곡선에다 이렇게 점 찍어놓고 이거 정확한 값은 하면 구할 수 있어요? 안 되죠. 결론적으로는 다 이렇게 잘라가지고 해야 되는 거 아니야? 그죠? 우리가 구할 수 있는 거. 근데 얘는 이미 잘라서 오니까 그 차이야, 그 차이. I just told you why you are you are learning calculus in your high schools. 그놈의 미적분은 왜 학교에서 가르치나 싶은데 다 이런 거에 나오는 거죠. 그렇죠? 아, 하다 보면 나중에 미적분이 또딴 데서 튀어나오기도 해요. 디지타이드. 그렇죠? That's what I mean by digitized. Binary number system continue digitize convert a to convert a digital format 010 ways. Sampling, record the sound wave value at fixed discrete intervals. Discrete intervals is, means you can exactly say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Continuous means while am I pointing to a 1, this might be moving. So it's impossible to get the 1 point out. So that's why we make that as a discrete. 계산하려면 discrete 해야 되잖아. 우리 손으로 계산해 보려면. To reproduce a sound, approximate using simply. To reproduce a sound may not be exactly the same as original sig uh, signal, but we can make it close enough to, to, to listen okay. I mean, we're not going to tell too much difference between the two. Right? Qualities, quality of this sound can be determined by this sampling ratio or how exactly can I point out this each point on this y-axis? Sampling rate, number of samples per second. If I do a 60 samples per second, then every 0.1 second I'm taking samples. Like this grid. If you want to do it more, then hopefully you're going to make that graph close to a uh, this continuous graph. 곡선하고 가장 비슷하게 이론적으로는 계속 자르고 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 자르면 곡선하고 비슷하게 갈수 있죠. 그죠? Sampling ratio. Bit depth, number of bits uh, per sample. How deep you want to go. You want to represent the value in terms of six decimal digit. 예를 들면, you want to measure 1.0006 or 1.006. There is a three, three to four digit difference between two numbers, right? 뭐 소수점 몇 채짜리까지 갔냐에 따라 정확할 수도 있고 좀덜 정확. 근데 일반적으로 별 상관 없겠지. 그렇죠? 앞에서 잘라도. So more bits, more accurate ampli amplitude. More bits, more ex exact point on x uh, y axis amplitude. More samples means more accurate waveform. More samples, I can make this more accurate to the original wave format. I'm done. Just learn how to do this in digital fashion. Yeah. The textbook exactly explained you how I explained it. It's not so much different from it. 
So can you build your own MP3 format now? <laughs> can you build your own MP3 format? 할수 있을까? Maybe. Maybe. I never, I never thought about it because it's not my area, but something like this is possible, right? This is original wave sound, sound wave, and this is the sample digitized wave, sound wave. A sampling of the original signal, B re recreating the signal from the sampled values. Good, good. 그왜 TV 같은데 나오는 거 보면 막 사운드 막 이렇게 나오는 거, 이게 다 이런 거죠. 사운드 필요하고. Any questions so far? Maybe I was, I'm not very well today. 나 오늘 약간 컨디션이 안 좋은가 봐. 왔다리 갔다리 해요. 설명이 좀 잘못됐거나 하면 알려줘요. 질문 없어? 오케이. Okay. What about image? This was a sound uh, wave. What about image? I briefly mentioned last class, image is also a number, right? It doesn't mean to have a pixel, pixel. When you guys buy a new, new monitor, the first thing they usually check is what? Pixel testing? 그런 거 많이 하나? Pixel testing? Just you wanted to see any dots are empty or not. Right? Similar idea. Image sampling. Record the color or intensity at fixed and discrete intervals in two dimensions. Two dimension. What's a two dimension? How do you draw each one? Two dimension in the board. X, Y, Z, boy. This is two dimension. If I add Z, then it's 3D. Three dimension. Four dimensional. Five dimensional. Six dimensional. What if you keep increasing the dimensions? What do you have at the end? Dimension 계속 늘려가면 what do you have at the end? 뭐가 뭐가 나올까? <웃음> 뭐 질문을 하면 대답하는 사람이 아무도 없으니 벽에다 대고 질문하는 것 같아서. X Y two dimension. X, Y, Z, three dimension, maybe somewhere four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eventually something like sphere. Sphere ga muji? Kuche. Right? If you have too many dimensions, you will have uh, something like sphere looking. But that's not the problem of this course. Dimension is more. 저거 디멘션 또 잘못 들어가면 아인슈타인 나오기 시작합니다. 그러면 이제 수업 그만해야 돼요. <웃음> so image is 2D, two dimensional sampling. So in two dimensional sampling means One, two, three, four. One. I just write any number. Image. Two dimension. This is what you're seeing. Imagine that each number has its own color. Each number has its own color. 그왜 가끔씩 보면 연예인들의 좋아하는 사람들이 연예인 사진 요만한 거 가지고 큰 연예인 사진 만들어 놓죠. 똑같은 겁니다. 똑같은 거예요. 색깔만 이렇게 잘 맞춰 갖고 이렇게 하면 큰그 사람 사진처럼 보이죠? 하나 만드는 게 픽셀, 픽셀들이 모여서 큰거 만드는 거예요. Same thing. Pixel, individual record samples. Or you can take a look at the entire thing as pixel. Doesn't really matter. RGB encoding. RGB encoding. Where do you hear this term? RGB cables. VGA cables in your computers. 그렇게 얘기 안 해? 이거 뭐라 그래? RGB cables. RGB cables. What does RGB mean? 그렇죠. I'm not expert in those area. I guess if you have red, green, uh, blue, then you can represent all the colors. 혹시 그런 거 아는 사람 있어요? 미대? 난 몰라. 그렇대요. RGB로 하면. 
Colors are combinations of red, green, blue. One byte, so each for red, green, blue. Raster graphics stores a picture in 2D graphic, 2D, two-dimensional grid of a pixel. Two-dimensional grid. It's a grid. So when you're actually opening up a picture, you're opening up a numbers in a two-dimensional list. We list to your language. Two-dimensional list. You're opening up this file. Opening up this file. 그럼 그럼 무슨 뜻일까? 요즘에 HD TV 나오고 Full HD 나오고 그 다음에 나오는 게 뭐라고 그러세요? 울트라 다음에 뭐 4K 뭐 이렇게 얘기하잖아. 4K. 그럼 무슨 뜻이에요? 숫자가 엄청나게 많이 들어간다는 뜻이에요. 픽셀이 더 조금해지면 조금해. 일반적으로 저거 보면 확대해서 보면 더 이렇게 HD 확대해서 보면 이렇게 이렇게 네모난 게 보이기 시작하고 이렇게 보이죠. 그렇죠? 네모난 게 보이기 시작하고. 이게 드러나서 그래요. 이 바운더리가. 오케이는 이거보다 막, 막 들어갔겠지. That's why those video files are getting larger. If you download the movie file in HD quality, full HD quality, DVD quality, the file size grows like 1 gig, 2 gig, 7 gig, 4K probably more than 10 gig. 뭐, 뭐 그렇지 않겠어? That's what it means. Because you have to store more numbers into files. First time I saw this, I thought this was a pig, but it's a dog. And if we magnify this eyes, you can start to see a boundary of these values, these boundaries. If you want to remove these boundaries, then you will have to take more more high quality pictures, then you will have a less chance to see those stuff. So imagine this is just a number. So instead of seeing an image, you're seeing a number. When you express those numbers in your screen, the screen just simply map these numbers into a color like this. Zero, white, no color. One, okay, bit, what is it? Bit more, and then seven is almost black. So when sometimes you wanted to do a mosaic, mosaic, mosaic on your images, blur the images. What are you doing actually? Kakungada, 남학생들은 나쁜 나쁜 비디오 볼때 모자이크 된 거. 옛날에 모자이크 된거 있으면 막 모자이크를 다시 뚫어 보려고 하는데 그게 부질없는 왜 부질없는 짓인지 오늘 가르쳐 줄게. 왜 모자이크를 뚫을 수 없는 짓인지. 왜? What does it mean to have blur the image? <coughs> blur the image. You actually making some part of graph as zero. If you change the value into zero, this section of the image will be appearing as what? White. OK, I randomly change all the numbers into zero. Can you recover the original values? That's why, that's why you cannot get the original images back most of the time. So if you know the basics, then you're not going to do something stupid, buying a program that remove mosaic. That's usually not the case. So. 아니면 영화에서 나오는 거. 영화에서 보면 막 인공위성에서 사진 찍어갖고 막 번호판 보고 막 그러잖아. 진짜 된대요. 근데 인공위성에서 사진 찍어서 이렇게 딱 보면 처음엔 되게 잘안 보이다가 갑자기 탁탁탁 설명해지죠. 뭐 하는 거예요? 뭐 보정하니 뭐 하니 막 이렇게 얘기하는 그뭐 하는 거예요? 예를 들어 7번이 7번이 까만색이야. 여기 다 그리고 다 0이면 이거 뭐야? 1이죠. 그죠? 뭐 예를 들면 실제로 이렇지 않지만 근데 너무 멀리서 찍으니까 여기에 막 이상한 값들이 들어가 있는 거야. 비슷한 값들이 잘 경계가 구분이 안 되니까. 
so when you're doing it, enhancing the image, you're actually giving a different value to see how it changed. Eventually, you're going to change this value to zero. You're changing a value, and hopefully, you get the original images back. This, that's what's happening in those movies. So can you can you build a program to do that? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's not, I mean, it doesn't have to be a smart algorithm. Any algorithm can do it. Just do a, put a random numbers in. We can just we know how to replace a number in the list, you see? From the previous examples, previous algorithm. That's all we've been doing. Change the value. Change the location of the number. Yeah, you can do it too. So every single time you're dealing with a number, images, sound are digitized. That's what it means to have that. 그러니까 파일이 크겠죠. 숫자를 그만큼 많이 가지고 있어야 되니까. Movie file 그렇게. What is movie file? Movie file. What What is the movie file that you're downloading? 영화가 뭐야 정확하게? Ah, it's a sequence of images, right? And the camera one, if you like the cameras, then you like you like to buy a new camera, then they usually give you like this camera can record the video 30 frames per second, FPS. 20 frames per second, 40 frames per second. 혹시 그런 기능 있는 거 몰라? 디지털 카메라 있는 사람. 뭐, 뭐 있는 게 있냐? <laughs> 스마트폰이 있으니까 잘 하진 않겠지만 그런 거 보면 그 애누리 이런 데 들어가서 봐요. 좀 비싼 거는 이거는 60 프레임 퍼 세컨드의 동영상을 찍을 수 있습니다. 이렇게 돼 있는데 그분 초당 60개의 이미지를 가져간다. 뭐 이런 뜻으로 보면 돼요. Frame is an image. Imagine that even for one second you need to have a 60 different frames. The movie file is using an hour. How many frames do you need? A lot of information, a lot of numbers. That's why those movie files are really big. Even the, the pictures that you take from DSLR, really big, right? Original images are really big. Because of this. So everything has to be in numbers in order to store in computer systems. Does it make sense? Make sense? 말 되죠? 할수 있어요 이런 거. 할수 있어요. 이건 잘 모르겠다. 이건 나도 안 해봐서 모르겠는데 이건 해본 적은 있었는데 이건 잘 모르겠어요. 옛날 숙제로 그런 게 나왔던 것 같아. 이렇게, 이렇게, 뭐 이렇게 이미지를 이미지 하나 주고 이거를 여기를 지워라. 뭐 이렇게 똑같아. 별거 없어. 그럼 앞으로 모자이크 된 이미지를 보면 어떻게 하면 된다? 영을 보고 있다고 생각하면 돼요. 영이구나. 뉴스에 많이 나오잖아. 나쁜 사람들 막 하면 음성 변조. 음성 변조 어떻게 해? <웃음> 음성 변조도 뭐 어떻게 하겠지? 근데 막 얼굴 안 보여주고 막 이렇게 나오잖아. 다음 때다 영으로 만들어 놓는 거야. Is there a way to recover the mosaic images? Yes, there might be. If your mosaic algorithm have a pattern. Then you might be able to recover some, but not fully, maybe. What if I ask you to build an algorithm to put a blur image, mosaic image? Give me your pseudocode to generate the mosaic image. Maybe you can do it one line of pseudocode. Generate random numbers and just place everywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Then your image will be some very weird looking. Um, of course, there are other issues, but we're not going to discuss that in this class. So data side is about how much that you can store, how many numbers that you can store. Can your file store in thousand integer numbers, thousand different numbers? You go, boy, four by four matrix. At this, even at this point. 4x4 four four matrix, you need to store 16 integers. Imagine that single block have another 4x4. Four four. 
four by four by four by four. A lot of numbers that you need to store even for a single pixel or single image. 10 pages text paper, 60 second sound file or image of that dimension. 480 by 640, 400 by 640 pixel size. So people are lazy, they don't want to store a big size files, so what do you do? If your files are too big, and yeah, sometimes you decide to do a compress the files. So, compress the files. 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 What happens if you compress the file? Size reduced. Okay. But does all files reduce that much? I mean, some files are not that good, right? Especially in movie files, image files, if you try to compress the files, then it's pretty much the same. If you compile a 10 mega image file, your compressed file is probably 9.8 megas. Doesn't mean much. Um, that's because it's difficult to find the patterns in those uh, image files. Excel or Word file, you can compress them in 10 minutes. Uh, do we cover in compression? Yes, probably the final chapter will cover a simple compression techniques later. Um, how, do you, how do you achieve it? I forgot. Anyway, we will discuss the compression technique, one of the compression techniques later. Uh, so there are two types, lossless and lossy. Data can be perfectly restored. Lossless. If you uh, compress the Excel files, if you want to uncompress the files, you expect that everything is okay, right? But some compressions, they don't guarantee that. You might lose some of the file data, uh, image like sometimes. Anybody have an iPad, or Android iPad, or watching movie from your smartphones? Sometimes you need to do a codec converting, which takes what a lot of time in your computers. Codec 한번 바꾸려면 되게 오래 걸리죠. Size 바꾸고. They're reading all those uh, numbers in the original data and reformatting into your own codec format. 그래서 코덱을 줄이면 화질도 좀 나빠지고 막 이렇게 하잖아요. 화질 나빠지는 게 저기 중에서 줄이는 거야. 이 중에서 얘만 하나 가지고, 얘만 하나 가지고 그래서 사이즈를 4x4면 2x2로 줄이고. 컴퓨터스 use a binary numbers bit stable system rely on current on and off zero and one. We discussed that already. Magnetic field I don't know too much. Skip. So how can you build a circuit? We know everything has to be in zero one zero one ways. If you actually try to build a circuit, what is the basic component of uh, building a circuit? Again, current on and off, zero and one, uh, of one and zero. So there is something called transistors. We hear this a lot, right? Transistor. This is how actually they look like. Small device with the gate. If this gate closes, current goes. If they, this, the gate opens, no current. 0, 1, 0, it's one way to represent a 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So actual devices, computer chips, they are consist of thousands, millions of transistors in it. Any computer out there, they replace a 진공관, vacuum tube. Simple version of transistors. 진공관에 불 들어오면 전기 통한 거고, 아니면 끊긴 거고. Imagine now we have a small computer chips have a billions of devices like this. You have to replace one by one. That's why the computers are so big. It's a limited, limited performances. Solid state switches char changes on and off when given power on the control line, extremely small, billion chips per, uh, billions per chip. Billion or medoc per chips. Enable computers that work with the gigabytes of the data and blah, blah, blah. 
you often hear the news like memory chips, one giga, two giga, 10 giga, stuff like that. You go, do we need to memorize this? Probably not, probably not, but I, I want you to know how it looked like. Okay, how it looked like. This is important, this is what, what counts. Boolean logics, Boolean logics. Boolean logic, we Boolean usually yes and no, again one and zero. Rules for manipulating true and false. So like the example that I give you why first uh, the circuit design course, I think the final exam was design your bending machine. So if I click a Coca-Cola, then the, as soon as I click it, the, the button lights up and then it should say Coca-Cola true and drops my, my drink, right? That's my goal, that's, that's what I wanted to design. If I have the design, I can simply using this type of transistors to actually implement that. 영일영일을 다 나와 있어 이걸 가지고 만들 거 아니에요. Boolean expressions can be converted into, into a circuit because Boolean logic can be written in zero, one, zero one ways, simply converted to a circuit design. Hardware design, logic design pertains uh, to the design construction of a new circuit. Note that 0110 binary representation maps to a true false of the Boolean logic. Boolean logic expression. Why this is called as a Boolean? Why we call this while loop preconditions or Boolean conditions? The looping conditions. If it's true, yes. If it's false, no. So if x is less than equal to 35, if it's satisfied, yes, no, means no. A equal 12, is A is 12 or not? Okay. So Boolean expressions and expressed in this way can be expressed in three different ways, and, or, or not. 이거 뭐야? Zero is, uh, X is greater than equal to zero, and X is less than equal to 35. If this condition satisfies, true. In order to uh, satisfy all these conditions, both has to be true. It's because this is end conditions. Or means one of those two can, if one of those two are true, then entire condition is true. Both of them has to be no in order to satisfy this or operation is no, not. If this, is, this condition is true, but I'm negating it, not, so it's going to be a false. Uh, vice versa. If it is false, what I have will be true. <coughs> so, and then you can use this type of notations later. Dot means and, plus means or. You got burger, some some wave looking. Let's say negate not. So you can build a table like this. You can build a table like this. You got more quite easy to see, you know. And end gate, uh, end uh, boolean operation, or, and not. Straightforward, straightforward. If input values A and B, false, 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 true, false, true, false, false, true, true, true. But you got more, 중간 꼬다 하는 거겠죠? Or, false, 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 true, 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 false, true, <coughs> true, true. So this is the all possible case of A and B, and this is all possible outputs of this or and end. Likewise, not. So how can you use this to design a circuit? Uh, true stable. You go, it's the same thing. So what if I ask for this? What is the possible outputs of, of this expression giving all inputs of A and B? If I ask you to build this, build this table, truth table. Come on, together. Whoa, I'm gonna try with every single case, right? A, B, A, both are true, then B, not B is false. A, B are true, both are true, so true. A and not B, A and not B, false. So A 
and B is here, A and not B is here, and or, so true, false, <coughs> or operation true, false, true, true, false, 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 false. So based on this input value, I can find out the entire expression of true or false. 여기까지 뭐 쉽지? This is Boolean logic operations. Boolean logic operation. And then after this point, I'm gonna change everything to zero one. I'm gonna say false got zero dunga, why dunga? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Zero, one. If I change to zero one zero one, you ready to build this circuit? 이것도 회로지, 회로도지, 논리 회로도지. 0일 0일로 다 바꾸고. If I found out what I can use for this operations, which transistor that I need to use it, then I can build the circuit. Hopefully that's my Coca-Cola. In order to get my Coca-Cola, I have to put uh, A and B true. So I have to maybe press two buttons at the same time. Then that will get me a cola. True. Or another way to get my cola is what? <coughs> Coke. Food. Do it. A button true. Maybe for B button I press false. 뭐 그런 식으로 똑같은. 예를 들면 true 하면 그 아래 입구가 딱 열리게 만들어놓는 거야. 그첫 번째 1.1 숙제에서 디지털 서킷 빌더라고 했다. 아, 디지털 서킷이다. 그 보너스로 전자식에 구현하라고 했잖아. 전자식이 똑같아요. 전자식이 어떻게 생겼어? 전자식이 이렇게 잘 들여다보면 이렇게 생겼어. 뭐 요즘 것도 그런지 모르겠는데. 나잘못 그리니까. 뭐 맞나? 그래서 뭐 2시 표현하고 싶으면 이렇게 된거 여기 불 들어와요. 2차처럼 보이게. 이렇게 생겨서 실제로 보면 막 이렇게 나눠져 있죠. 그죠? 전자식에 보면. 하긴 시계들은 다 요즘엔 다 좋은 시계들만 찾아서. 쥐샥 이런 거 보면 다 이렇게 나눠져 있어요. 베이비 쥐샥 보면 다 이렇게 나눠져 있잖아. 막 이렇게 나눠져 있어요. 이제 이렇게, 이렇게 들어오면 뭐 숫자 2 같으니까 2시인 줄 알고 이렇게 된 거죠. 서킷은 똑같아요. 저렇게 로직 찾아가지고 여기 불 들어오게 하는 거예요. 두시면 여기 여기 true. 한시면 여기 여기 true. 나머지는 false. 여기잖아. 1이면 불 들어오게. 1, 1. 여기가 1이면 여기 여기. 두시면 여기 여기. 불 들어와야 될 때를 이런 식으로 알려주면 되는 거예요. 대신에 로직이 좀 길겠지. 로직이 뭐, 뭐, 뭐 이만큼 되겠지. 그게 서킷 디자인이에요. 별거 다르지 않아요. 지금 전자식 있는 사람 아무도 없어? 뭐 시계도 안 차고 뭐, 씨. 뭐 하는 게 있어야 뭐 설명을 하지. 그죠? 그렇다고 없는 전자식이 차고 올 수도 없고 나도 없다 그러고 보니까. So and or not. We're gonna how can we use that in the circuit? We're going to use something called gate. End gate, or gate, and not gate. <coughs> this end gate, or gate, they are consisted of small transistors inside. So I don't care how they actually build. Inputs that I give, signals 1, 1, the output signals will be following the end conditions. So 0, 0, always give me 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, because this is end gate. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Likewise, for the OR gate, NOT gate, NEGATE, just everything you give, flip. 그죠? 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Basically, if you, have, if you have this gate, you can easily build that expressions. 저거죠? End gate. If we know how to use the end gate, or gate, not gate, you can draw that expression. 그치? G. 
추루스 테이블은 이걸 추루스 테이블이라고 그러거든요. 여기 책에는 사실 깊게 안 나와요. 나올 수가 없어요. 나중에 그 1학년 말인가? 2학년 때 처음 듣게 되는 과목에서 추루스 테이블을 빌드하는 걸 그때 배울 거예요. 여기서는 이런 엔드 게이트, 오 게이트가 있다는 것 정도로 보고 넘어갈 건데 하나 정도는 예제를 주긴 할 거예요. 그래서 책에 있는 걸 보고 문제를 물어보지도 않을 뿐더러 할 수가 없어요. 조금 어려워서. 그러니까 너무 걱정하지 마요. 이거는. 그래도 이거 알았어? 전자식이 이렇게 되는 거? 전자가들한테 물어보면 아는 척할 거예요. 왜냐하면 지네들 막 이렇게 꼽아서 하는 게 걔네 지금 꼽고 있는 게 엔드 게이트 꼽고 있는 거거든요. 엔드 게이트, 오어 게이트 여기저기 꼽고 있어요. 거의 대부분 불안 들어와요. <웃음> 불안 들어오고 연기 올라오고 막. <웃음> 진짜야. 전구 태워먹고 막 계산 잘못해갖고 전구 태워먹고 그래요. 별반 다르지 않아요. 전작가라고 해도. 아, uh, Boolean logic and gates continue. Gates are built from a transistors. Uh, so not gate have a one transistor using it. Uh, end gate three transistors and or gate three transistors too. NAND and NOR gates require two. NAND means not AND gate. NOR means not OR gate. Okay? You can certainly build that, use it too. 이거는 신경 쓰지 마. 저, 리지스터 뭐 이런 거는 뭐 신경 쓰지 마. 괜찮아요. So circuits are consisted of those gates, AND gate, OR gates. Not gates. 그 뉴스에 보면 그런 얘기 가끔 나오잖아요. 뭐 삼성전자 랜드 칩을 만들었다. 랜드 메모리 칩, 노어 메모리 칩. 그게 저거야. 저거예요. 저거예요. So using those AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate, you can actually start building your own circuits. Uh, what matters is how to design those circuits. It doesn't really matter how you know how to where to put those in. Doesn't really matter in that part. Circuits has input wires, contains a gate, so end gate somewhere, or gate somewhere. They are organized in certain fashions. Output depends only uh, depends only on the current input, no state. Because it's electricity, they don't they don't they don't memorize what was the previous values. So what I give. Outputs just strictly depends on the what I give now. Current input values only. Only they don't care about previous input values. That's what it means by no state. No state. State, um, state, finite state machine, Turing machines will appear in chapter 12 in your textbook. I'm not somewhere in your textbook. 그거 하면 다또다침 흘리고 있어요. 이거 뭔 소리 하나 여러분? Turing machine. To convert the circuit into a Boolean expression, start with the output and work backward. Get the values that I wanted to have. In, in what input I like to have a one. What input I like to have a zero. Have that first. Fix that first. That's what it means. And then try to backward. 여기서부터는 그냥 들어. 괜찮아요. 아직 100% 이해하는 다음 시간에 또 하겠지만. Find the next gate back, convert the Boolean operation, repeat each input, filling the left and right side. What does that mean? What does that mean? Simply means, I like to build a circuit like this. I like to build the table first. So, if I given these three inputs, three, zero, 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 my circuit always give me zero, one. This is what I want. That's, that's what it means to work from backward. Start from my output. This is my desired output. And then you will guess, you will try to build a circuit in the between. Okay. 여기서부터 시작하면 되게 헷갈리기 시작해. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
output one always be zero. So I reduce one condition. <웃음> reduce one condition. 그렇지? 딱 보면 아직 정확하게 다안 적어놨지만 a b a b가 0이면 output 1 번은 언제나 0이 나오는 것 같아요. 그렇죠? 그런 컨디션이면 c는 신경 안 써도 되죠. 그러면 서킷의 하나의 조건을 벌써 맞춰서 그지? 쉽게 쉽게. 그러니까 그런 식으로 줄여가는 거예요. 점점점. 로직 로직 펑션 하면 나중에 막 적어놓고 로직 로직을 먼저 설명해야 될 거예요. 로직이 뭐지? <웃음> 3단 논법이 뭐지? <웃음> 소크라텔레스의 3단 논법이 뭐지? 맞나? 소크라텔레스가 맞나? 뭐지? 이름 뭐냐? 그 어. 어, 사람 이름 있잖아. 나 갑자기 이름이 생각. 뭐 A는 B고 B는 C면 A는 C다. 그죠? A는 C다 결론 나오면 A는 B고 B는 C다가 필요해 안 필요해요? 필요 없지. 똑같은 얘기예요. 로직 로직 두개 중에 하나만 떨궈주고 맨 마지막 결론만 그거 가지고 만드는 거예요. Uh, build the true table and then find the true rows for output one. They give you one instructions. So this is the table that I wanted to have. The next step they ask for is find the lines that gives output value one. Output value one. So output value one, one, one. Which is the case A is one, B is one, B is, uh, C is zero. Also A is zero, B is one, C is zero. From this point on, I only care about these lines. These two generate one only. So based on that information, I build my circuit like that. So if I design it like, if I organize my um, end gate and or gate, if I give zero, what is it? Zero, one, zero, I go. 0, 1, 0, this will always give me output of 1. <coughs> Likewise, the second condition always 1. The other values always give me 0. So I just design a 1 uh, part of circuit for output 1. I do the same thing for output 2. We put it together somehow. Actual step, we, we're this outside of scope in this course. But this is small pseudocode like Ah, uh, you're gonna do it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. I'm gonna stop here today. Any questions for today?